minus your drummer. <laughs> You've just come out of the Dream Media Studio. What was going on in there and what was it looking like and sounding like? Well, it's like a party starter. You, you, you go inside, you go to the disco and all the lights are on. There's a big like festival kind of set up but no, no crowd. Fan. There's a big, there's two big, two big fans. Oh, yeah. yeah, really big fans. <laughs> Bigger fans I've ever seen, actually. We've got a couple, couple of good fans. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. And do you want to tell us a little bit about the two songs that you just played? Uh, yeah, um, Shiver, which was the single off the album that's soon to be released. Check it out. Uh, and Hotel Shelter, which is number track number one off the album. One hit. It, it might be a hit. Yeah. So it's funny old times. What does it mean to you what's unfolded with Seabreeze Festival, Foldback and Dream Media kind of teaming up together to make sure that there is still some work for artists? Oh, I just think it's a good outlet, to be honest. Everyone's sort of cramped at home and just playing music by themselves. So being able to just get together, even though it's two songs. Yeah, more collaborations, the better. Scraps smell better from one and a half meters. <laughs> I don't want to go down that angle. <laughs> thank you. All right, you guys. Thanks so much. Oh, thank you. Alice Cotton, you just came out of the Dream Media studio. What happened inside? What did it look like? All that jazz. Uh, well, I walked through this dark corridor <laughs> and there was a huge Christmas tree um, strung up on the ceiling which was a nice little touch. And then went onto the stage and it was like a tropical garden. Um, yeah, and then I performed my set. It was a little bit um, unusual having, you know, everyone so far apart and no one there, but yeah, it was good. And what songs did you play, Alice, today? Um, I did two of my songs. One's called I Feel Fine and the other one is Sleeping Dogs. Oh, beautiful. Um, yeah, it's, I appreciate it. It's um. It's been a rough few weeks with so many cancellations of gigs and um, yeah, I was going to go to Melbourne and record my EP so it's nice to just get on stage again and yeah, still have the Dow and the Met happening. Oh, that was good as thanks heaps, Alice. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, Territory, territory uh, Drags, you just came out of Dream Media. Uh, Shaz, how did you feel? Oh, it felt so amazing. Yes, it was awesome. It feels like we were there. <laughs> yeah, the atmosphere was amazing. We could hear you screaming all the way from home. <laughs> <laughs> great, great, great. Um, so, what's your thoughts on uh, Dream Media, Fallback and Seabreeze working together um, to you know, uh, keep the festival going and, and going digital. It's absolutely crazy that in this time that we can just all come together instead of doing the actual festival how it was delivered like normally, we were able to employ local companies and keep the amazingness going. We were able, we've got the great studio here, we've got great lighting, great sound, and we've got the great team to actually make it digital. So Seabreeze Festival 2020 can still go ahead. It's great. It's awesome. And it's great to be a part of it too, um, being a lo local entertainment company. Yeah. It's great. Um, lots of our friends have been um, performing throughout the festival as well. So we hope you're all enjoying it just as much as we've been enjoying putting on great shows for you. Awesome. So you've done um, a few performances before. Can you tell us a little bit about your performance? Um, so Drag Territory is over-the-top camp, drag, cabaret, comedy. Um, it's just a good time with lots of sequin, lots of feathers and lots of sass. Um, please like us on Facebook so you can keep up to date with all our up-and-coming events and our Drag Queen story time. And we'll see you around Darwin. Enjoy Seabreeze. Bye. Sea Bye. Thank you.